hands of the Nazis, there is feverish activity. Materials, equipment and men are being poured into the outer ring of Europe's defenses. Especially men, for the enslaved labor of Europe is cheap. This is Hitler's newsreel. It is being shown throughout Europe to convince the subject peoples that their hopes of delivery are vain, to convince the German people that their fears of invasion are groundless. can't believe his own propaganda. The Nazis know the invasion is coming. Why else are they so desperately arming the fortress? Why this gigantic mushrooming of platforms, mountings, rangefinders, the biggest rifles, the most powerful weapons, gathered from all the arsenals of Europe, the factories of Krupp, the foundries of Skoda in Czechoslovakia, of Schneider Crusoe in France, all converging on the old towns of the French seacoast. The masters plan, the conquered people work. Hitler's cameraman has selected these scenes carefully. We know that not every mile of the coast can be this powerfully fortified, but no doubt about it, where the fortifications exist, they are tough. These are new guns. The Nazis never dreamed they would need coastal batteries. Guns for the forts and forts for the guns. Scaffoldings cover the land and the concrete sets. They used to sneer at Maginot lines, but now they multiply redoubts and emplacements. Under canopies of camouflage, the batteries look out to sea. Besides the protected emplacements are the artillery strong points, all types and calibers of guns. Then the trenches, the barbed wire, the pillboxes. A myriad system of defenses, organized in depth, spiderwebbed along the headlands and the beaches, the valleys, and the hills behind. Endless miles of death traps. Every day that the Allies are preparing for the great offensive, 
the Nazis warn us they are preparing to meet. For the offensive to succeed, all this must be weakened. Already, Allied squadrons are bombing these positions, blasting the camouflaged hillocks, jarring the aligned gun mounts. Flying fortresses and liberators, Wellingtons and marauders, are dropping huge tonnages of steel and explosives to crush these Nazi-prepared positions. The enemy is well-armed, well-trained, thoroughly on the alert with the best of modern equipment. It will take tremendous air strength to deal with these obstacles. Against this powerful array of concrete walls and steel guns, only a mightier mass of steel and explosives will avail. Invasion is bound to be costly. But the more overwhelming the assault, the less the cost. The strength of our assault waves begins in our factories at home.